Ladies and gentlemen, in the background, I'm having ChatGPT do a motion. This is converting a Chapter 7 to a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And it is specifically designed for those of you regarding the $400 billion for you to add that to your lawsuit as an asset. I've been telling all of you tax credits, tax credits, tax credits. I apologize. That's the wrong phrase. They are not tax credits. I need you to pay attention. They are federal credits. Now, watch this. Wake up. Wake up. The courts have identified that there is a difference between federal credits and tax credits, comma, my credits are federal credits. Can you provide five case citations specific to this question, comma, showing the difference between federal credits and tax credits and how the law and the courts recognize the differences between the two? Question mark, period. And please, no nuances and no opinions other than that of the courts. Is that understood? Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go get some sleep. You guys are going to get a copy of this whole thing from Chapter 7 to Chapter 11. Those of you who are involved in Chapter 11, it shows you the entire process, okay? It even tells you how to get around those stupid fees. But the Supreme Court differentiates federal credits, which are financial assets, from tax credits, which provide a reduction in tax obligations. I'm sorry that I've been saying it wrong all this time. That's why it was always arguing with me about the credits, always talking about a reduction. Once you do the 1099-C, it's approved. They're no longer tax credits, ladies and gentlemen. When you get them on your tax transcripts, they're no longer tax credits. They're just used as offsets. So now you need to convert your federal credits to money, monetary. But remember, federal credits are government obligation. And because they're government obligations, pay attention. Because they are government obligations, United States government obligations, they are guaranteed back by the full faith and credit of the nation. Once you understand that, you understand more than you need to know about all of this. $400 billion, people. Like I said, I wasn't intending on it to be that way, but that's the way it turns out, and there's nothing anybody can say about it. You fall under IRS 166, so 26 U.S. Code 166, for those of you who use the U.S. Code, or IRS Tax Topic 453, and you do it as a sole proprietor. You really need to pay attention. All right, you guys are going to get this link. You're going to get this link. And you're going to have this information. You guys got some studying to do. I want y'all to pay attention. This is a three-minute and ten-second video. You got some reading to do.